Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Retro Tech. In today's Retro Spotlight, the Tegum 130A Digital Multimeter Aho Circa 1986. Man, this one is cool. Now this multimeter has some similarities uh, to, let's say that Micronta I reviewed a while back. Yeah, we have that dual selector here. Um, Neat. That was kind of a, you know, a go-to back in the day. Obviously, they did away with that, but uh, it definitely makes this meter stand out. Definitely one of the best multimeter manuals I have ever come across. This thing is thorough like you wouldn't believe. Um, it just takes everything down right from the get-go. Specifications, uh, the general information, what have you, preparation for use, uh, you know, a whole nine yards. And, and look at that, we even have a calibration mode. Yes, calibration procedure. Uh, they're saying it should be done every two years and they tell you how to do it. Can you imagine in the good old days? And check this out. Check this out, a parts list, and are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? A full pull-out schematic of the meter. Oh my God. So uh, yeah, boy, back in the good old days, they weren't messing around. Meter itself also has that on off slide switch on the side of the meter, slide switch on the slide, I guess so. And uh, yeah, look at that one button control. Um, I like it, I like it a lot. One thing that is severely lacking is the fact we don't have a tilt stand. No tilt stand on this puppy. Um, yeah, but uh, that being said, um, it's designed to go flat on that bench. And when you turn it on, let's just turn this baby on, uh, you can see it's at a pretty good angle. Now I'm getting a low battery. Oh, I better change that before I do a couple of uh, tests. But uh, basically, yeah. The battery good. housing comes off with a simple slide and instant access to the battery. Now we have just one of those nine volt connectors. Yeah, I know, not the greatest way to connect, but you know what? We're talking uh, a lot 40 plus years ago, folks. Also, when you remove that battery cover, uh, it gives you access to that one calibration pot. Just one is all it takes. Uh, calibration pot R103. It says apply a plus 190 millivolts to the 130A and a display reading of 190 plus or minus one digit. This is the only adjustment needed to calibrate this instrument. Calibration should be formed every two years. Performed every two years, so um, cool. So that calibration pot should be in there. Uh, we're gonna take this apart, of course, get a closer look, but uh, it's there, it's there somewhere. Also in the back of the meter, you notice uh, we've got these nice little um, rubber stops just to make the meter um, prevent it from sliding around on the bench. And we also have this brass insert. I'm not 100% sure what this is for. Um, hey, let me know in the comments below, but uh, very Spartan look wise on the back. Um, hey, let's put this thing to the test. Okay, right now we are in ohms mode. Let's see, 100K. How close are we after almost 40 years? Wow, check it out, 99.9 .9 kilo ohm. Oh man, this has not been calibrated either. Whoa, beauty. And one ohm coming up, look at that, 1.2 of an ohm, beauty. Next up is AC volts. Come on, baby, here we go. 120 is what we wanna see. Oh yeah. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Now remember, it's not true RMS, but once again, uh, you know what? Hey, looking good. Now this three and a half digit LCD display does not do an audible continuity, um, but you know what? We can forgive it, I think. All in all, it has a really nice feel, fit and finish. Um, a brown color that probably wasn't so popular, um, or maybe it was, I don't know, we just didn't see that color much uh, anymore. Um, I kind of like it, I know a lot of people don't, but I, I like the brown, you know, it just has that nice earthiness to it, but um, hey, mileage may vary, but I think it's kind of cool. It's really hard to see, but that trim pot for the calibration is right down here, uh, right dead center down there. So that's all we take one Phillips screw and apply that millivolt and uh, put it back into calibration. Very cool. Okay, let's, uh, oh, 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 one more thing. Almost forgot, look at this. We have another panel here. Oh, and that is for the fuse. Yes, that is the original fuse as far as I know. Um, has not been touched. We have that kind of tape just to pull it out. Um, but once again, easy breezy access to that uh, fuse. Good stuff. And I just verified that is a two amp, 250 volt fuse. 
and of course, made in the good old US of A. Ah. Here we are in the inside. Oh, check it out. Yes, shielding. And man, that is some sweet shielding. Oh my God. I'm not just some inlay. No, it's an actual piece of metal, sheet metal that is propped in there. And we have what looks like a copper or brass a grounding uh, spring as well. So very, very nicely done. Good quality plastics. Whoa, Tegum, you definitely went the extra mile. Let's take a look at that main PCB and oh my God, I love it. Way at the top of the meter, we have Hong Kong made a three and a half digit single chip AD converter. Just below that, we have our thick film resistor. Two of them, R101 and R102. And lots of yummy, yummy components. Uh, oh my God, look at them all here. Some tantalum capacitors, ceramic disc capacitors, some, uh, what else we have here? Polyester, polypropylene. I mean, this thing just had them all. A couple of big diodes, of course, the selector switches themselves, um, all through whole components. And there is our calibration pot right there, the one calibration pot to keep this meter uh, in business. So uh, beauty, beauty, beauty. And right in the middle at the bottom here, of course, that is our little uh, shock resistor. That's a 0 0.01 of an ohm, 0.5% accuracy. Uh, yeah. Man, I gotta tell you, back in the day, they really took pride when they put these meters together. Unbelievable. Already gonna cut, but put everything back together. Come back with my vintage. Hope you enjoy this little venture down memory lane with the Tegum Model 130A digital multimeter, circa 1986. Mm -mm, this one was fun.